Good morning, everyone. It's Kathy with Plan Happy With Me. And if this is your first visit here, welcome. I do my planning a little different. I'm a Franken planner now and I'm loving it. So let me show you what I'm working on today. I'm working in my dashboard section of my planner. I only use the right side. I'm going to be, this is for the week of Valentine's week, February 12th. This is going to be my sticker kit for the journal for this week. And then the teacher planner is black and white. So we're going to go with the pink and red from this to create the dashboard planner section of my Franken planner. The Frank, this section is my, um, all about the house planner so I don't it's very very functional I need to grab one thing I'll be right back so I'm using the big boxes from mojo to create my um, spread if you haven't seen my dashboard planner before I totally revamp this because um, I don't like the Monday up there and I've always not liked this box and so there's a lot of things that I redo. You can see that, I don't know, maybe you can't see, this is an out of date planner so the dates don't mean anything to me. The other thing I need to pull here is um, the words. I think I'm going to use this color on the pink and the on the pink we're going to use this color for the days of the week and then I just want my big number so I'm really thinking we're going to go with black because um, there's a lot of color going on here and I do have black in the black and white teacher section so um, I'm going to pull out some numbers from yeah I like these great big ones this is Cal of the Plan, and I'm trying to decide which ones I want to use. Um, the dots I'm going to use for the daily journal. So I have these big ones. I'm trying to use up this book first, ladies. I don't think we're going to have anything that's going to match other than black. You know, we could put the words in black instead of back and forth color and then maybe get away with this red. Let's see. Pull out our color sheet. Oh, I think we'll do that instead. Um, I want to use up this particular book. Um, it's a color book. I don't use color that much. <laughs> As I pull out all these colors, I say I don't use color that much. Um, but I think we're going to use these. And I think we're going to go with the black words. So now you see how I kind of work my magic. <laughs> okay, so we really only need this one page. I'm going to white out the date. Because uh, that's no good. And then um, we're going to get started. Now, the one that I'm going to use four colors of, I start with. So this one's going to have four. And I do, if it makes you nauseous, I apologize. But I do turn my page back and forth a million times because I have to see it. <laughs> um, the whole reason I bought these big planners, these big, big stickers from Mojo is because they fit almost perfectly in a dashboard and it gives me that little space that I need in between so that I can uh, just delineate the box a little better. I am in love with the finished product on this. It is working so good for me. I'm not mad at myself because I don't use the left side of the page. I love this. And yeah, I don't have to use a sticker. I can use whiteout. I can use a paper sticker to cover the date and use um, color boxes. And there may be a point that that's what I do. I can't find the right color match or something like that. I'm, I may change that style up too, but right now I'm really liking using the big stickers. And I have, I think, pretty much every big sticker book Mojo made, makes, 
I hope she's still going to make some. Um, and uh, so if there's a color out there that I don't have, I would be surprised. Um, the biggest issue is going to be there's only four on a page, and I use four and three every week. So I think the bigger issue is going to be uh, seeing if I have enough books to make it through the year. Uh-oh, that one's really crooked. Yeah, we got to fix that one. Okay, so we'll slide it down. I think I'm going to do a little sticker surgery because I I'm really want it to be below that line, but a little wider than that. So we're going to just cut it. Put it on the line at the top and then replace this one. Now it's a little bit wider. I hope it's a little bit wider. Yeah, see it's just a little bit wider and I'm going to put my get it done sticker over the top and that will um, hide the cut. So let's make something a little bit bold. Um, I kind of like this one here. So let's cut this. And I collected some Get It Done stickers from various books and artists. And I did not realize I didn't need to print them. So I have some printed ones as well. So I just grab whatever's the handiest and put it on there. I like it. I like that font. It's telling me quit being lazy and get it done. Love it. Okay. And then up here we just put the month. Okay. So we're going to use this one here because I really want to use up this page. And I do wish that it didn't go over the red, but it has two that go down below. Right? So I don't really... Oops! I made you nauseous. I'm sorry. Okay, so now we need the words, the days of the week. And I'm going to go back to that same Kell of a Plan dated book. We're going to go for it. Okay, so this is Monday. And I do like to turn it on the side, although I could do this. And then we could put, let's see, the First day of the week is the 12th, right? Yes. So, let's see. Are these squares or are they kiss cut? They are kiss cut. Okay. I think we're going to go ahead and go across like that. Now, I want to see. That's a kind of a different color. But I kind of like it. I think it looks okay. Kind of fun. It's a little bigger than I, wider, wider. I need to be able to write here. So I think we're going to let it go. Okay, so we have Monday. We have Tuesday. Uh, Wednesday. Oh, well, that's okay. It's clear. Thursday. Come on. There it is. And why do I not bounce back and forth? Because I like my weekend together. That's one of the reasons I redo this. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. These are the days I work. This is my weekend. So a uh, big reason why I redate this planner. Um, also, you know, a lot of people are like, well, I hate redating. I get it. It requires you to buy more stickers and you have to be more on top of things and you know I've done that a few times where I've messed it up but you know for me that's part of the fun is picking the colors and making it go together my planner is I I the elusive planner piece if, if regardless of the, the side of the fence you believe whether you do have planner piece or you will never achieve planner piece that's a moot point because for me, I do feel like I know what I'm having. I know where it's going to go. I have planner piece. And because of that, my planner is could be considered boring. 
And for me, it's nothing but boring because I get to pick the colors. I get to pick the position. I get to pick uh, the stickers. I get to pick a lot of things. But the way I lay it out is very repetitious. Now, if you're looking for a planner piece, change up all the time is maybe not going to give you planner piece. Um... Part of the reason I feel I have planner pieces, I know what I need to look for. I know what I need to have. I made a big change in 2024 in my planners. And so far, I'm really loving that change. It's been a really good change for me. I was using six and seven planners and I couldn't keep up. And it was making me feel like, um, and watching all these people use six and seven planners and I felt like I was a loser and I finally said to myself you're not a loser you just need to find a way that works for you and that realization made me realize that I needed to be a Franken planner just use the parts of the planner that I use and that has really made a huge difference for me now it's dot time on uh, Monday through Thursday, I put two dots on. One is for work and one is for something else I have to do that day. I make myself do one thing a day. At the weekend, gets three dots because um, it's the weekend. I'm not working and there's more things to be done. So that's, that's kind of how. Now, I do kind of put these up high because if I need to put a third one in, I can. Sometimes I have to do two things after work, like go to the post office and get gas. Um, so I, I do leave a spot in case I have to write something in. And I did, wasn't doing that for a long time. And then I was like having to write something in and trying to squish in a dot. And I finally said, well, do you need the dot? And I told myself, yes, because I want the color. And... So then I said, well, then you just need to raise that dot so that you can add one if you want. And then you can see here that three does fit. And by switching up the colors here, I have I really like those big numbers. I've loved those big numbers since they released them. But I really like them on this page because I wasn't a fan of the red and the pink here together. And um, this pink really brought the two together. It really made um, that blend that I was hoping to get. Now I want three dots up here. I don't know if I wanna go, we're gonna go pink, red, pink. So I need one red one up there. I always do get it done as three um, because, let's see, It'll be one, two, uh, that might not work. I may have to move that. I don't want to move that. Um, let's see. We'll see what happens. Let's put the pink ones on. So you can see why I like Mojo's books because it gives me all of the things in the same color. So here I go. I'll put these dots on and we will be more or less done. Um, my, my get it done section. Let's see, what if we did this? We can move this one up. No, they would have to all go in the middle, which I don't know if I'm a fan of that, but next time I'll have to remember to um, move that up just a little bit I'm gonna have to think about that I could just leave it in the middle and then use the two lines that that's probably what I'll do um, I write larger and so I like extra space that's part of the reason there's only two on here um, if I'm not working uh, on a particular day I do put three um, don't think I, I I know I'm not working on the 15th so I think I'm gonna go ahead and put three on um, 
our charter school is taking a very long president's weekend so i know i'm not working on the 15th okay i think that's it i hope you guys enjoyed the video i'm hoping you'll come back and see how i do the daily and uh, then in the daily video i show you how i put the whole week together all right you guys have a great day thanks for watching say hi don't forget to subscribe and like. Bye.